Hello and welcome to another edition of, well actually this is the first edition of how to install drawer cabinet slides. Try to do this without using a pencil because pencils and maps don't work for me as well as just not using them. Uh, cut a couple of just spacer blocks, these spacer blocks on each side of the cabinet, spacer slides go like that. These are full extension, I'm guessing 100 pound slides and what we'll do is we'll pop these in. Uh, Space between the cabinet and the style is half inch on one side and nine sixteenths on the other. Don't ask, I don't know why. It just happened that way. So we'll put the half inch spacer in there. And I'll give enough room so that that little block sits out, sits proud of that. Do the same thing on the other side. Um, the, the rail is gonna just sit flush of that. So what we'll have is a See how it sits on that. There's no leveling, there's no math, there's no pencils, we're just going to put them up there. Um, I'll put this side up first because it's uh, easy. And I'll line the uh, front of it up so the uh, flush setting drawer faces will be inset. The uh, slide will sit back exactly uh, three quarters of an inch behind that. And all we need to do is drop a couple screws in it. First of all, we'll attach the that would help. We'll attach, we'll attach this, a special effect here by the way. And it's just a one inch screw going into this. Yeah, good, didn't go through. That would always be a bummer. And one in the back. And voila, one is done. Do the other side. Sure. I'll angle it forward a little bit so what happens is it'll make sure that this spacer block is snug. Snug up to the front of the uh, face frame. That way it'll be easy to line up the drawer slot. Try not to beat the face frame too hard while they're installing these things. Beautiful. Next up is uh, drawer slide one. So we'll extend it a little bit, rest it on the spacer block, that's what it's for. Pull out this piece, because this is the piece that's going to be staying inside the cabinet, and I'll put that just inside, just a little bit, so that way when the drawer shuts, it'll actually pull it in a little bit. And since I don't have to level anything, all I'm going to do is drop a screw in, and I use the uh, Try to use the holes that have elongations on either side. That way if you have to adjust it, you can pull it back and forward and it's actually pretty easy. There's another one. Good, and go through. And once again, sits right on the thing. All we need to do is, oh, I'm going to have to turn my back on you. No, maybe not. Once again, line it up to the front, there it is. Find the little elongated hole, drop the whole mess because then you pull out the spacer block below it far enough. And I'm trying to do this as quickly as humanly possible. One, and it's a little farther in than I like, but that's easy enough to fix because I put it in the elongated hole. Wipe that out a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. And hopefully, I love doing this because this is the uh, the fun part of the whole process. So now what I do, once again, no math, more spacer blocks. That sits up. Proud of the, uh, and these are actually just cut up of the uh, spacer blocks. That'll line up. Proud of that. So when I take the box, the drawer, which is just plywood, I can hopefully squeeze this in. Go up top, there we go. In, and that'll give us a perfect spacing. So all I do is take this part, and once again, set it a little proud, and push these back, that way I can see it. And once I get the uh, screws in, once again, elongated holes, 
just a little. I'm gonna go in a little bit. Then, there's no real reason why I'm using this, it's just what I have. Now this is your sheet metal screws. And it just happens to fit, so we'll use it. Normally you actually use the right tool for the right job, but if it works, There we go, that's one. Same thing on the other side. Now I haven't pulled the drawer out all the way because I want to make sure that I have enough room. So that it doesn't fall out and become unbalanced. The way that you set things up is so that you don't have to worry about making sure everything is level and lined up via math because math can, math can throw you off. And like that, well, maybe a little less. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Nice and tight. Now we'll pull the drawer out a little bit and not have to worry about it falling. Once again, pre-drilling into the And just a little bit, just a little bit, let's get the screw started. I go in maybe a sixteenth of an inch. That way I don't have to battle with the uh, getting the screw to go in. Because that's really not fun at all. Tighten it. And again on the other side. You can start them too by hand, because it's non-magnetic ties, or however you say that, so what will happen is it'll just fall out if you don't get started. You've got to do it by hand because you don't want it to spin out and strip, because then you've got nothing. All right, so then we have to wrestle to get the uh, blocks out, and as you can see, I can't get the blocks out, so we're going to have to... We're going to have to take the drawer out. And that happens, but that's okay. So then, just push it in. And I could probably stand to take the uh, spacer blocks out. <coughs> that one's a little stuck, so I'm going to use the chisel. There you go. That's out. And once again, just line that up, get it back in on one side. There, lots of blocked in. Ow! Carpentry is dangerous. So, full extension. And, ta da, self closing. These are the lids that I made earlier. Uh, custom made quarter round because I didn't have a bit and I didn't have the molding and it's too far to drive. And I wanted to get it done. So I just used a quarter round bit. On the back, I have directions because this is custom fit left, right, top. Obviously, you can figure out the bottom. And that's going to go in just like that. And as you can see, it's obviously perfect because I planned all this out beforehand. And uh, there'll be a nice space in between because it's going to be a flush mount. And that way, when it's painted, it'll be nice and tight and perfect. The next phase is to flip this cabinet up on its back, <coughs> center these things perfectly, glue them, let the glue set, and then after they're glued in, then I can drill through the back and put a couple screws in the back to hold it so it will permanently be there. Well, anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching this version and this portion of how to install drawer slides and drawers. Um, next week, we'll do something different.